Buckingham Palace releases candid video of Queen Camilla helping King Charles in sweet couple moment. Queen Camilla lending a helping hand to her husband, King Charles, who is still undergoing medical treatment for an undisclosed type of cancer, is something royal admirers like myself will never get tired of seeing. Last week, King Charles, Queen Camilla and other members of the British royal family kicked off Royal Week in Scotland. Per the official royal website, each year, His Majesty spends a week visiting various regions in Scotland and partakes in a number of activities such as meeting Scots, hosting a party at the Palace of Holyrood House and more. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. On July 3rd, the King, 75, and Queen, 76, attended a ceremony dedicated to the 900th anniversary of the City of Edinburgh held at Edinburgh Castle in Scotland. In a montage video shared on the Royal Family's Instagram page, King Charles and Queen Camilla can be seen conversing with guests and even making a toast with drinks. At one point in the clip, Queen Camilla helps her husband cut a cake and it is a sweet couple moment. The caption read, Happy 900th birthday, Edinburgh, and thank you for a wonderful celebration. This is not the first time we've seen Queen Camilla show her support for King Charles. Back in June, the royal couple welcomed the Emperor and Empress of Japan upon their arrival to the UK during their last day, King Charles and Queen Camilla bid their guests farewell. In a stunning photo taken by royal photographer Chris Jackson, the pair walked back to Buckingham Palace and as they climbed the steps, Queen Camilla placed a gentle hand on her husband's back, showing her love and support following a very important event. After the English men's soccer team scored the winning goal in the UEFA Euro 2024 semi-finals game against Team Netherlands, His Royal Highness King Charles took to social media to share his congratulations in the form of a personally written message. And how do we know the letter was written by the King himself? The 75-year-old monarch signed the note with his own personal moniker. Alongside a photo of the male athletes who make up the English men's soccer team, His Majesty wrote in the caption, My wife and I join all our family in wishing you the warmest congratulations on reaching the final of the UEFA European Championship and in sending our very best wishes for Sunday's match. The message continued, if I may encourage you to secure victory before the need for any last-minute wonder goals or another penalties drama, I am sure the stresses on the nation's collective heart rate and blood pressure would be greatly alleviated. Good luck, England. Before ending the message, King Charles signed it with his unique signature, Charles R. Some long-time royal admirers may recall that the King's late mother, Queen Elizabeth II, would also sign letters with her unique signature, often writing Elizabeth R at the end of a document. In this case, the letter R stands for Rex, which is the Latin translation of the word King, and in Elizabeth's case, the R stood for Regina which means Queen. King Charles wasn't the only royal who celebrated the English men's soccer team's win on social media. In fact, Prince William, who recently attended the UEFA Euro quarter-finals between England and Switzerland at the Dusseldorf Arena, wrote a congratulatory message of his own and posted it on the Instagram page he shares with his wife, Kate Middleton. Along with an art poster of the star players from Team England, the Prince of Wales wrote, What a beauty, Ollie. Congratulations at England. Hashtag Euro 2024 finalists. They say if it ain't broke, don't fix it and perhaps that's why Queen Camilla just used one of Kate Middleton's go-to moves. The moment in question happened during Queen Camilla's recent celebration of the National Literacy Trust charity's 30th anniversary. For the milestone event, she hosted community volunteers and authors at Clarence House, where photographers captured a moment between the royal and a 10-year-old literacy champion, Jaden Lowndes. In the photo, Camilla hinges slightly at the hips in an effort to meet the preteen at eye level, a move that can even the playing field, promoting open communication and creating a safe space for the child to speak freely. Queen Camilla and Kate Middleton aren't the only royals who have used the go-to parenting move. 
Prince William borrowed the move just last month when he attended a training session for England's men's football team. While speaking with children during the outing, the Prince of Wales flexed his parenting skills as he bent over so that he would be at eye level with them. He did the same when stooping down to shake the hand of a young lad. The tried and true method has also been used by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, who put the handy move to use while chatting with a group of children at a basketball exhibition training match while in Lagos, Nigeria, to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games. The trademark move also apparently has other uses, with experts stating that it can stop a toddler from whining. In an episode of the podcast Raising Good Humans, hosted by Dr. Eliza Pressman, developmental psychologist and co-founder of the Mount Sinai Parenting Center, she shared the method of getting down to eye level with your child and calmly stating, I really want to understand what you're trying to say, but it's hard for me to understand when you're whining. Can you try that again in your real voice? This approach, according to Dr. Pressman, not only acknowledges the child's discomfort and need for attention but also encourages them to adjust their tone for better communication.